let's go ahead and and look at proper ways of having your your strap loop through your buckle. There's a a lot of uh, emergency or situations, uh, stressful situations that occur underwater simply because the tank strap or the, the BC strap was not properly looped through the buckle. So one way of, of doing this is go ahead and take your, your buckle and your strap, okay? And how you're going to do this is the first place that this is going to go is going to be in the center portion of your buckle and then it's going to come back through the strap closest to the cylinder as if it was open. Now this is a proper way to secure the BC on the strap. Okay. Now when you're putting the strap on, okay, let me do that for you one more time so you can see. So here's what it looks like. You're coming through, you're coming through and going into the middle strap, right? And then you're going back through here. So, middle and back through. And you'll also notice if you've been diving a lot that it almost automatically fits into place from from the, the, the time that it's been in that same position. So now let's see if I did it correctly. Let's place it over the tank valve. Properly aligning it so that the, the top of the tank valve is evenly lined up. And this may vary from BC to BC, and I'll show you in a minute with the Ziegel Tech BC uh, with a double strap. So if you see, the strap here is put together correctly. And now when I pull the strap and the handle, you'll notice that it actually tightens. And you can see it tightening right there. While it's tightened, and so that you don't exhaust yourself, just take the buckle, lock it into place, just simply pushing the bottom of the buckle into the strap is going to lock it enough so that you can let go of the strap while keeping pressure on the buckle, loop through the end so that you have some leverage and some support. Go ahead and grab the tank valve or lock your knees around the cylinder and use your leverage to securely fasten your, your strap. And there you go. Voila, now you're ready for a, almost ready for a dive. <laughs> I hope that helps. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a double strap Ziegel Tech BC. Again opening of the tank valve facing away from you. You're going to take both of the straps, placing them one at a time over the tank valve, sliding down. And work it down, work it down. Then you come to the other one, work them both down. And it helps when you use the same size cylinder on all your dives. Otherwise, you're going to have to adjust the, the buckle um, differently on each one. Just below where the tank starts to curve is where the top strap is. And the bottom strap is almost center, a little less than center to the cylinder. Okay. Now you're gonna have, since you have two straps, you can't bring this one four to six inches down from where the tank starts to curve because your valve is gonna be up too high and when you're swimming uh, horizontally in the, in the ocean um, or in the pool, your head's gonna hit the back of the first stage and you don't want that. 
So in this case, this is a properly measured out strap. And once again, ensure that everything is nice and tight. You can see once you pull one strap, lock it into place, slide the, re the buckle, the strap through the top of the buckle, and lock it down, and then the same for the other one.